So we're waiting to see, because it takes a moment for, there's a delay. It's numerologist Glennis McCants. Hi, everybody. Go ahead and say hello if you are catching me saying hi to you. Hello, I'll just say it. Okay. So. Great to be here, guys. You know, Mercury's in retrograde. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that is, right? Most of you certainly know what that is. And boy, is it true. Uh, we ran a test earlier. This is my first time doing face, not Facebook Live, but actually YouTube Live. And it's been an experience. I worked on it a lot yesterday, ran a test with my moderator, which is Vanessa. Say hi to Vanessa. She'll be helping us today. And no matter what, it still had some glitches. <laughs> So I hope you are hearing me and I hope all is well in your world, certainly as best as it can be. I also invite you to visit my website, numberslady.com. For those of you who don't know my work or just want to learn about your life path number, your attitude number, you literally go to the top of the page, numberslady.com, click where it says numbers, and you can read all about it. Also, master numbers. People always ask me about that. I do cover that topic and numbers that follow you around. So it's a great place to go. And also August 1st, I will end up teaching a numerology workshop. This is online, of course, because of the coronavirus. And you should check that out as well. So for those of you who already know some numerology but want to learn more about it, like the way I detail, the way I read my blueprints and the way I'm, I'm accurate, there's a reason and I kind of teach you how I do it. So, and what's fun about this class, it's interactive. I will be talking to you and also you'll be able to submit your blueprints. So perhaps I'll use yours. And just like today, I am gonna end up doing some spontaneous readings. And I'm looking at some notes here. So I'm always talking about Mercury was in retrograde. I've had, everything's been kind of crazy with the technology. You know, it's so unfortunate about that because I am an optimistic person. And I never want to believe in the shadow side of anything. You know, I always want to believe in the good news. But the fact is, when Mercury is in retrograde, it does mess with things. And I experience it so completely. The other thing I want to say for the people who are following my work and those who found out about it through my newsletter or on my Facebook page, just be aware that if you are one of those people who tap into your intuition, who are psychically in tune, any of that, you're going to be more in effect of what's happening. You know, everything's going to be more dramatic. So I just want you to take time out. One of the suggestions I have, it's about breathing. You know, breathing exercises, literally before you go to bed, that's what I end up doing. I will lay down and just shut my eyes and just breathe deeply in and out. I'll breathe through my nose deeply and then out of my mouth. But it's just like letting, you know, release the toxic energy and breathe in love. Right, So I breathe in love and healing energy and release that toxic energy. And I do it every night when I, because I'm so wired at night. I, I have found a lot of people say, even those who used to be able to sleep at night, they're having a harder time sleeping. And yes, of course, this whole pandemic, the coronavirus, everything is playing a huge role. Our lives have turned upside down. And I will briefly say why 2020, it does represent seeing things as they are, not necessarily as you want them to be. It's a wake up call. And even though this is a very tough time, the shadow side of four is that we do learn the hard way. We hit our heads before we learn. That's why sometimes you think you've learned it the first time and then boom, you learn it again. That's what that is. And we're going through it. So if you hang in there and just find ways to stay in the moment, you're gonna feel a lot better. The other thing I always promote are affirmations. I've always done affirmations as long as I've done numerology, my whole life. This has been my commitment since I was a teenager. And my reasoning is what you believe is what you manifest. So I'm gonna give you a couple affirmations for what you're going through right now and you should use them. These are copyright protected, they belong to me, but I'm giving them to you to use. 
as an affirmation so that you can feel better. And I'm suggesting that you do it never less than 15 minutes a day. And I ask that you say them out loud so that the universe hears them, okay? So the first one is about physical health. How are you doing physically? How are you feeling? Like, are you fatigued? Does your neck hurt? Does your back hurt? Again, if you're having trouble sleeping, do you feel just a little depressed? Any of those things can enter into our body, you know, where our body ends up not feeling good either. And we've talked, this has been going on for so months, so many months. <laughs> I remember when I said to my newsletter, I said, tell you what, every week I'm going to do a live video and I'm going to help you. I'll give you affirmations and do a couple reads while we go through this. Little did I know this would just be a full basic. It's going to be pretty much a year, right? I mean, when we're all said and done, it was January we first kind of heard. We heard something about it in February. March, it became a real problem. Here we are in July. And because of what's happening now, I know this will go through August, September, but I, I remain optimistic about what's to come in the future. So for now, I want you to work on this. If you're hurting, whether it's your foot, your ankle, anything that's bothering you with the physical body, I want you to do this affirmation. I release all negative thoughts and embrace the vibrant health that's within me now. I release all negative thoughts and embrace the vibrant health that is within me now. I release all negative thoughts and embrace the vibrant health that's within me now. Could you write that down? I do need you guys to hear that. Write it down. So I know you're hearing that affirmation and then I'll continue doing it. We'll do it for like two minutes. I do see Debbie's having problems. She's been tired and She's having a problem, sciatic nerve. You know, interesting, you should say that, Debbie. My right leg, oh, the pain that I had, it happened kind of in April, and I knew that I was internalizing because I was trying to help so many people at the same time, and, and it's just easy for that to happen. And sure enough, I was in great pain, but this affirmation I'm giving you right now kicked it out. Like, I'm pain-free, and don't think I don't rejoice at that every single day since it happened because I was in great pain for at least four weeks. Okay, so again, I release all negative thoughts and embrace the vibrant health that's within me now. I release all negative thoughts and embrace the vibrant health that's within me now. I release all negative thoughts and embrace the vibrant health that's within me now. I release all negative thoughts and embrace the vibrant health that's within me now. All right, so that's what you wanna be doing. You wanna do it no less than 15 minutes a day. That makes such a huge difference. Again, if you're in physical pain and you start doing that affirmation, it can kick it out, all right? The other one is about prosperity. So I want you to make a note of this one for prosperity. And let me think about this for a minute. Which one do I wanna do? Oh, here we go. My So write this down. My financial opportunities are boundless and the universe supports me completely. My financial opportunities are boundless and the universe supports me completely. <clears throat> you got that? Write it down. My financial opportunities are boundless and the universe supports me completely. My financial opportunities are boundless and the universe supports me completely. So when you say that affirmation, like you literally could do a walk. Let's say you went out for a walk, for a block, whatever. No one's around. You can speak freely. You don't necessarily have to put that mask over your mouth unless you're passing someone or dealing with people. But I would be saying it. Okay, I would be saying it out loud, full volume, just get it out there and just say my financial opportunities are boundless and the universe supports me completely. My financial opportunities are boundless and the universe supports me completely. My financial opportunities are boundless and the universe supports me completely. So again, you wanna do that for 15 minutes to get some results. That's what it's gonna take, no less than that. 
Uh, let's see, so someone's writing here. How do I increase finances when not planning on returning to work? Doesn't matter. You know, when you start doing affirmations for prosperity, you never know where the money's gonna come from. You may not be going to your job, the job that you were doing before, but maybe another job pops up or there's an opportunity where you make money. I've had people write me and say, Glynis, I, really, I forgot that I had like a 401k from a long time ago from a different company and they just sent me a check. You know, you, you don't know where abundance is gonna come from, but it just makes you feel better, especially if you're living in fear that you are not financially doing well. If you're afraid that you're not gonna be okay financially, that's why you do affirmations. And of course, those of you in the workforce, it's just gonna help you, okay? All right, so the other thing we're gonna do is some quick reads, like spontaneous readings. I said that I would do them. What it's gonna take is you, your name, your full date of birth, and then your quick question, and I will answer it by the numbers. All right, that's what we're gonna end up doing. There's a girl named Jennifer W. She says, I'm setting up an Airbnb out here in the desert. Good. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm all for it. I mean, obviously you're gonna have to, it's gotta be what, a family that comes in that has already been self-quarantining, they're all together, no infection. I mean, again, I'm all for beautiful places. You know, my birthday's coming up. I certainly wanna uh, go away. I'm gonna go to a beautiful place. It's uh, kind of a hotel, but it's even better than that. What I mean is you actually get to park your car right outside the room that you stay in. It's kind of like having a beautiful condominium for yourself. It's really a knockout, but I'm doing it. Um, a lot of us celebrate our birthday and my family at the same time. Um, my mother is three days before my birthday. Three days later is my brother, my aunt, my sister, her husband. It's crazy. So yeah, I'm all for it. And a beautiful Airbnb, people are going to want to do that. You know, we're, we're all feeling so stuck uh, in our place, right? And the whole rebellion idea of saying, well, you know, my rights about the mask, that is the dumbest thing. And I'll, I'll tell you why I say it's silly. Secondhand smoke, same idea, right? I wouldn't let someone sit there smoking in my face, knowing that secondhand smoke might hurt me. It's the same idea, just being respectful of each other and space. And not to mention, we want to kick it out as soon as we possibly can so we can all get back to work and everything can take off again right? The economy, your creativity. I will say I'm applauding all of you that have found ways to stay busy in a healthy way. Uh, many people are starting books right now. Uh, some people are uh, writing out the outline for this new business idea they have that they never pursued. Some people are redoing their home in a way they never did, like they just never have the time. So you just have to make the most of each day. That's the key, isn't it? Like we can't sit there in the pity pool and say, gosh, life's not fair. I had these big plans for me and now it didn't happen. It's okay. Sometimes you just have to stop, which is what 2020 invites us to do, regroup and make a new decision, a new choice that you feel good about. All right? All right. So again, you can give me a date of birth, but I also need that quick question. Let's see what I have here. And I do think I have the power of this again. It's my first time with YouTube, so I've seen a date of birth, 10, 11. And Vanessa's in here. So Vanessa, if you see a birthday that starts at 10, 11, that would be helpful to me. Oh, there she is, 10, 11, 1968. 10, 11, 1968. And her name is Deborah Wenger, not Winger, like the actress, well, I find a good partner this year. Let me confirm something before I answer that five, six. Okay. All right, the truth is, Deborah, you're actually in a personal year of seven. Seven is a time for you to work on you, like improving yourself. It's actually a time to step back and look what's happening in your life and what choices could you make that are better for you. It isn't necessarily ideal for you to meet someone, but I, I never discount it's possible, right? I mean, you you have born on 11 day, a master number 11 day, which means it's possible for you to start doing those love affirmations daily and affirm this healthy, perfect mate. 
Because the other thing, if you've not been lucky in love, what's the point in meeting someone new if the pattern turns out to be the same? Like so often, until we heal the way we feel about love and relationships, we can meet this uh, someone who looks different, and within six months to a year, we realize we've done it again. So how about you work on that? Like do some love affirmations. I have them on my website, numberslady.com, affirmations to attract healthy love. You could do that. You could also go to my Facebook page, Glynis McCants, the numbers lady, and pull one of my love affirmations that I've done there as well on some of my videos. But yeah, be proactive. If you're working on the spiritual side of you, which by the way is what you're supposed to be doing, like seven personal years where you say, what matters most to me? Who am I? What's my life purpose? What's it all about? You tend to get an answer by year's end. And if you can find a, play, a way to get it where you go, okay, let go and let God. I'm going to trust the process. Five, six, eight, nine. Yeah, so you also have a nine. Deborah, that nine life path tells me that you got to be careful who you pick. Like, you know, it could be someone who takes advantage of your kindness, your generosity. I want you to find someone who treats you well, where it's reciprocal, where it's more of your equal. So again, since it's a seven, which is spirituality, it still could happen, but this is not an ideal year. This is more like, I'd say, work on falling in love with you. So when you meet this new partner, they're well worth it. And it's your lasting partner, the one that goes the distance. Thanks for the question. All right. Let's see. Um, I see my name popped up like that. Let's see if that, I'm a life path two, attitude five. When am I going to meet my Prince Charming? Okay. Now in your case, you've got, now it looks like James. And if that is correct, James Harold. James, here's the deal. You're in a personal year of nine. That means clearing space for new beginnings. So when would be ideal? The following year. You'd enter the personal year cycle of one, get in the driver's seat of your life and meet that Prince Charming, right? That's the timing for you. And of course, you're very capable of You have that master number 11 slash two life path. It is about love for you. You've got this romantic streak and you're so willing to give yourself, but you gotta, you gotta pick and choose wisely, don't you? All right. Let's see what else I've got here. Uh, well, hold on. I love this little Deborah. I love that Deborah Winger's name is so close to Deborah Winger, who I actually thought was a phenomenal actress, especially in terms of endearment. But she says, thank you, a pandemic is a great time to work on myself. It's so true. You know, it's like some cycles you're kind of lucky that's the cycle you're in while we go through this. Whereas for others, it's really hard. If you're in a personal year five, which is like, I just want to get out and go play. I want to do my thing and you're stuck. That's really hard. Uh, but some cycles, it's good. Seven's one of them. All right. Uh, someone asked me, this is petite gal, 25. She says, what's a love affirmation? Well, first of all, love affirmations is how I met and manifested my husband, Charlie Youngblood. People know Charlie, anyone who follows me, if you read my book, Love by the Numbers, he was the inspiration for that book. Do you know it's been 18 years now since we first got together, but I did love affirmations to make that happen. So what it is, it's certain words that you use and you say them over and over. The same way I'm giving you affirmations today for your health and for finances, this would be affirmations for love. And then you do it daily for 15 minutes. And I always say the universe is an eavesdropper. So when you start affirming this, great things can happen. You know, if you sit there in life going, oh, I can never get love right. I never be a good person. The universe is like, that's right. You can never get love right. And you will never meet a good person. But if you start affirming, I welcome this healthy love, and you start talking about what it is you want, you can make that happen, okay? And that's why I always say, say it out loud. Don't, don't whisper it. Don't write it down. Say it out loud, all right? Let's see. I'm looking. I'm running through it. Um, Deborah Wenger met Deborah Wenger. <laughs> How much do I love that? Oh, see, the universe brought you two together. How cute is that? Okay. 
Ooh, okay, let's listen to this. This is big. This is Katrika and date of birth 9-28-1954. Always put the 19. When you break down numbers, you need the 19. She put 9-28-54. And if you didn't break down 19, you'd get the numbers wrong. Just know that, all right? So she's got a one attitude, born on a one day. Let's see, let's see. 19, 29. So she's a 29 slash 11 slash two life path. Kidney cancer returning. All right, I have had so many wonderful stories of people who got sick. And again, healing affirmations for your body, that's available at numberslady.com. They did the affirmations daily, 15 minutes. You talk to your body because this is your body, right? I mean, the fact that it's returned, it makes sense to me in that you're in a personal year of five, so everything's out of control. And by the way, the five energy is a challenge to your life path. It is very much a challenge to you. You've been emotional and upset and now this drama, but you absolutely can do some work to heal that. And that of course is when I recommend, how do we eat, right? The vegetables, processed food, you know that promotes cancer. There's so many things that we have that's not healthy. So I'm suggesting uh, alkaline eating. Are you familiar with that? Katrinka, I want you to look into alkaline eating. Uh, you can shoot an email, we'll send you um, a title of a book that has been really good because it's about the acid and the alkaline in your body that can promote cancer. All I can tell you is I want you to do those affirmations. I've had people with stage four cancer who were able to overcome it, but I can't do that for you, right? This is you having a relationship with your body I actually had a client a couple weeks back. She told me a story that just blew my mind. I mean, she didn't just have cancer. She had cancer, first it was in her shoulder. Then they said it metastasized. Then they said it was in her, her bones. It was in her liver. It was all over her body, okay? Her body was under siege. And she did a whole homeopathic thing. She went to Spain. Um, again, you can ask about that. But she, she didn't get cut. She wound up doing a lot of forgiveness. She realized she had a lot of anger and resentment in her body. She went through this whole forgiveness process. It was counseling, it was therapy, and it was what they offer, this, this place in Spain. But most importantly, she does not have cancer in her body right now. She's in remission. So I don't want you to give up. Don't you dare give up on you and the possibility that you can heal, all right? Especially the fact that you're a two. Do you know two is the most healing vibration in numerology? It is possible. And I'm, I'm rooting for you very much. And again, the website for me, numberslady.com, www.numberslady.com. Go to the products page and you can see the different uh, CDs, healing affirmations that I offer. And of course, my books. Glennis has your number and love by the numbers. These are standalone books, which means you can read both and get different information out of them. Just helpful. It's another tool in your life. And what a good time this is. You know, July 7th, summertime, great time for you to read and fill your brain with new information to improve your life. All right, what do I got here? Rita. Well, I moved to another house in the near future. Okay. When someone asks you a question like that of me, I just, this is what I want to tell you. Yes, let me write this down here. One, seven day, four, five, nine. Okay. When I do numerology, it's a science of numbers. Like if I were to lay it out and show you the numbers, you could see them. Yes, it's true. My gift is my third eye is wide open when I read energy. And that's why I'm very psychically in tune to the numbers. But still, there are times when we make a move. So if someone says, hey, will I move? It's not like that. What For me, it's like, is this a good time for me to move in numerology? Now, you happen to be in a personal year of eight, so I would ask you about the financial side of your life. What's going on with you financially? It, would it behoove you to move right now? Is it about moving money? You know, is, it, is the timing right? Because if it's not, the following year is nine for you, and nine means clearing space for new beginnings. So I always see that as a decent time for us to look. Well, you can look around now because you know the market's going to be weird. So there's going to be real fluctuations and you could find a deal. And I've actually had clients sell their home in this pandemic and actually make good money doing so. 
But if you said, is this perfect at ideal time? I would not say yes to that. I would say uh, next year is better for you. So thanks for the question. All righty. I've got to keep an eye. There I am. Good to know. Um, give me a minute here. All right. So this is a gal named Sharon, and she says, what does it mean when all my numbers are the same? Well, the first thing I'd say to that, they probably are not. Like, I don't have your numbers, I, and I can't. I don't even have time to break down that first, middle, last name. Because even if you added stuff together, you might get something else. But yes, it's true. Your birth date numbers are 777. Now, if that were me, I would go to Las Vegas and I would literally go to where there's the 777 machine, maybe go to the seventh machine and play. Why not? You know, I've literally had people when they had 777 win on it just, just because. It's almost like saying there's luck on your side with that 777. Now, what else does it mean? It means what you see is what you get. You're not playing games. You know, you're, as a matter of fact, you can't stand people who do play games. It, it angers you. It's like, just be real, just be honest. Now, mind you, with that 777, you have to be careful what comes out of your mouth because your mouth, you can be very honest and blunt, a little too direct, and people can take it wrong, even though it may not be your intention. The other thing about 777, you can only handle people so much. You know, eventually you just got to get away from them. They make you crazy. So you got to be aware of that as being true for you. That means if you are stuck with people, just make sure you take a time out for yourself so that you don't get upset. Uh, it also means work on that spiritual side. I hope you have found that because when I meet someone who's like double seven, who's actually found their faith, they are wonderful people. I'm turning that off. Uh, they're wonderful. I mean, they teach me things I would not know because sevens are the ones seeking. And when they get that answer, they have so much wonderful information to offer. And I have found people who have all those sevens, they can be captain of a ship. They can be the pilot of a plane because they're based in movement. Gotta go. Don't want to stay stuck. And yet their home environment, privacy. If someone invades your privacy, and I believe your name was Sharon. I wrote your numbers down, but I don't think I wrote down your name. Uh, <laughs> if your privacy is in, invaded, that's a deal breaker for you. So that's how I see it. I don't know your whole thing. I suggest you get a chart. Or yeah, I'd like you to get a chart to show me that you really are, because you can't be. By the way, you just can't be, and I'll tell you why. Name numbers. The soul, the first two numbers have to add up to the third number. Well, it's not gonna be 777 in your uh, name. The best it could be is like 775. You see what I mean? So yes, there's other numbers for you. It's just your birth date numbers are all the same. And I think that's cool. I like it. All right, let's see. Uh, looking, I'm looking too over here. Give me a moment. My birth date, what's special about the 11? Okay, uh, this is who, let me double check. 2-11-1959, the guy's name's Tim. He says, what's special about the 11? in his name, he's a one life path. Well, again, numberslady.com, click on numbers, you'll read about master numbers. But what does it mean? Master numbers, keep it simple. Born the 11th, born the 22nd, or your life path number is 11, 22, 33. It's called, it's a high frequency. Like example, the basic numbers in numerology are one through nine, and then we have master numbers. But I always say to my clients, don't ever live, you don't, you're not going to always live in your master number frequency because it's a high frequency. It's something you should do when you're working, right? When you have a job and you want to be successful, that's when you turn on that power, Tim. But then other times you want to reduce it. Last two, two tells me you've got a huge heart. You know, you seek love, peace, harmony. You're not looking for conflict. And yet, because you also have a poor attitude, when you think you're right, 
you don't necessarily give up your position. You're very strong-minded. And so just look at the master number as an opportunity. It's like saying, I want to make a difference in the world. I want to leave my footprints in the sand. I have something to offer. That's what it means. But it also means when you do a great job, that little voice that says, I didn't do enough, or you do, it didn't go as well as you thought, and you start beating yourself up, stop the chatter. Just stop it all and say, you know what? I did good. Now I want to move on to my next adventure. So that's what it is. And again, numberslady.com, click where it says numbers and read more about master numbers when you scroll down, okay? Thanks for the question. All right, guys, this was my first YouTube event. And I promised I would do some live spontaneous reads. I plan on doing these weekly to help you while we go through coronavirus. And my biggest prayer for all of us right now is that we just do what it takes to calm it down. Wear the mask, social distance, let's get through this nightmare and let's get someone, I, I think it's possible when they talk about coming up with a solution, like something to heal us or something to speed up the process. I think it's possible. You know, the world number 2020, four is the permanent students seeking knowledge. And there, there's such a speed right now because of this pandemic, everyone wants to solve it. So let's, let's root for that, okay? But in the meantime, do your affirmations and know that I am rooting for you. So I'm Glennis McCants, numberslady.com, author of Glennis Has Your Number and Love by the Numbers. And catch you next week. I'll let you know when. And you should sign up for the free newsletter because I always announce when I'm going to be doing stuff. Okay, but also Facebook. So if you just go to numberslady.com, you'll literally see Twitter and Facebook. Click, click, and you'll always know what I'm doing and where I'm at. Thanks a lot, guys. It was great.